Chandler's doing Thanksgiving. I'm doing this one. Michael and Kay and let's go. Oh, that's easy to pick Chandler. Get better, will you? Your mom wants like two days in a row where everybody's healthy. <laughs> tea, such come, such a tea. What do you got? This is hard. Tremendous. Tremendous. A terrific would be okay. A tremendous is good. All right, what do you got to confess, Ava? I like the Still being so far. Oh, I said so four headlights. All right. What do you have to be thankful for, Chandler? Uh, no COVID. For not, yes, for not having COVID. If you got COVID again, it's not the virus that's going to kill you. I think your mom would kill you. No, Landon had COVID. Oh, you didn't have it? No. Okay. He was on. Not me. What else are you thankful for? Uh, not having mono. Okay, no mono. All right, those are good things to be thankful for. I'm going to pray for a man at church named Michael. He had some heart attacks this past week, but he didn't have any blockages, and he came home, so there's something else going on. Uh, Lady <coughs> Kay, her knee is healing after knee surgery, and we're going to pray for Chandler to get completely better. Right, when we get to that point, we are going to do a little bit of... It's an evening prayer, so it's called Compliment, page 253. I think we'll uh, You got page 253? Yeah. We're not gonna sing, we're just gonna speak the parts. So I'm the L person, you're the C. And on the second page we're gonna do the right hand column. And then we'll read some of the scriptures and then we'll do our prayer. You got it? Yeah. Alright. The Lord Almighty grants us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. For our faith, we're on the right hand column. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me, and I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are redeemed by Jesus Christ, and in him we are forgiven. We rest now in his peace and rise in the morning to serve him. Amen. All right, let's see on page 255 there. to do the third one. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said that. Okay, let's say our prayer. You ready? Heavenly Father, you are tremendous. Thank you for not, for me for not having COVID or mom. 
Lord, uh, help Michael's heart to continue to heal and Kay's knee to heal. And help Chandler to get 100% better, too. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Good job. We're done with the, done with the hymnal. On to... Ninth and Tenth Commandments. So we prayed for God's forgiveness, Abel. What, what's forgiveness? Getting rid of sin. your sin, okay. And how do we get rid of our sin? Bye. Do we get rid of our sin? No. So how do we get rid of our sin? Maybe I should close the door. Does the bugs come in? Whoever whispered that, that would be the right answer. <laughs> How do we get rid of our sin? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus died for our sins. He takes away our sins, wipes the slate clean. We just forget this right there, right? What's that remind you of? Light. Light and salvation. Salvation, right. All right. So let's go over what the first eight commandments are all about. So the first commandment, what is it? There's only one God. There's only one God. Good. Second commandment? You should not misuse the name of God. Don't misuse the name. That's right. Third commandment. Authority. Remember the sign. Sign. Right. It's about worship and God's word. Fourth commandment. Honor your father and mother. Parents and authority. Good. All right. Fifth commandment. You should not murder. Right. Protect life. Sixth commandment. You should. What do you mean you don't know? Yes, you do. You shall not. You shall not commit adultery or adultery. It's about marriage Oops. and sex. Okay? Seventh commandment. You shall not steal. Don't steal. Very good. It's about property. Eighth commandment. You shall not give false testimony. Right. Guarding your reputation. Oh, yeah. You're going to need all these. And then, nine and ten are very similar. In fact, uh, the caddy in the catechism is on page 115, which you guys remember as this, but let's look at it anyway. <laughs> page 115, 9 and 10. So, Ava, what's the ninth commandment? Since you didn't do the homework, you probably haven't seen this yet, so this will be like a surprise for you. Okay. You shall not covet. Covet. And what does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not seem to get our neighbor's inheritance or house or get it in a way which only appears right but help and be of service to him and keep him. Okay. And then what's the tenth commandment, Chandler? You shall not cover your neighbor's wife or his. Maid servant. A man servant or a man servant? An ox or a donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Right. And what's this mean, Landon? We should fear and love God so that we do not entice or force away our neighbor's wives, workers, or animals, or turn them against him, but urge them to stay and do their duty. So, what's the difference between those two commandments? They're very similar. You shall not covet. What's the difference? Okay, the first one is about his, his house or his, you know, his home, and the second one is more about the, the people or in his life. Yeah, or animals, right. Wait, so... The difference is... You have nine about a house or home. Ten is more about people and animals. So they're very similar, but when they were numbering the Ten Commandments, they decided to split these out into two. So what does the word covet mean? Uh, that wasn't take. Hope or covet? No. What word was it? Take. So 
of what? Hate. No, because that would be more like stealing. To covet something is to want something really badly, badly enough that you would do anything to get it. So, you could say, really, really want something. We're going to say desire. So much that you'll do whatever you have to to get. So on the homework, we were making a list of five things you really, really want. The Chandler said to never be sick again. Legos. Rockets. I heard that when I was sick. Everybody to be happy and no sick. So Wait. we're thinking of things, not just. Uh, but that's not the whole thing. Landon wants money. <laughs> Well, yeah, who doesn't? I mean, yeah. Jordans. That's so expected. Doritos. That's also so expected. A phone case. And clothes. So, Ava, what are five things that, that you really, really, really want? I mean, you want really bad. Money? What else? And coveting is usually something that somebody else has. Like somebody else's house, or somebody else's things, or somebody else's relationships. Come on, what else do you want, Ava? I love Ava's phone. Pretend? Pretend you're a little kid, and you're sitting on Santa's lap, and you're telling him what you want for Christmas. What do you tell him? Chocolate. Here you go. There's one bag left. What else? Uh, more chocolate? No. <laughs> Something different. Uh, candy. Candy? Yeah. Really easy to, to satisfy. Are you jealous of anybody's looks or anybody's success or you look at other people and they say, what I wish I like that? I want a laptop. A laptop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You alright? <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, oh, that's a thinking face? Okay. Um, I thought maybe you bit into something sour, is what it looked like. Okay. I'm trying to think of what other Isabellas I know. She's Isabel, not Isabella. So I texted somebody named Isabella, I don't know who they are. I said, where are you? <laughs> Come on, you one more. Give me suggestions. Clothing. Do you have any clothes you want? Pets? Want any pets? Yeah. You want pets? A ferret. A ferret? <coughs> they stink. Why well, never had one, so I would know that. It's like a long rat is what a ferret a is, basically. A long, fluffy snake with arms. Well, they bite. Wouldn't you rather have like a, like a chinchilla? They're like furry and really soft. Can you have to bait them in dust or something? What? It's odd. I don't know. Uh, All right. <coughs> I knew someone with guinea pigs and they gave them a sand bath or something. Ugh. That's not... They did a great fun pet. So, guinea pigs are basically useless. They just sit there and eat and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Their guinea pigs die. Oh. Well, that's even worse. They shoot them on cardboard. Yeah. <coughs> that happens. Like, the toilet paper clothes. Yeah. So, is it wrong to want things? No. Yes. Not necessarily. But if your want kind of makes you do other sins to get stuff, then man, you're in trouble. We're going to read some stories like that. So, how do television commercials or other forms of advertising create covetous feelings? How does the media make you covet things, Landon? Um, 
says it's the one of the best things out there. Yep. Like the water. Best thing ever, okay? Like Fiji. It's better than something else. Okay. And if you, yeah, Taylor. They say it's for a little low price. Oh, okay, yeah. It's affordable. And if you buy it, then you will become what? Awesome. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Cool. Um, oh. Awesome. Cool. Healthy. Appealing. Sold out. Popular. Sold out. <coughs> sold out. What? Almost sold out. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. There's not many left. Good idea. Act now. In the next ten minutes, if you call in the next ten minutes, then you can get a second one for free. Just pay the shipping. Or that you'll be uh, success happy. If you have this, then you'll be happy. Popular. Yeah, popular. Everybody wants to be popular, right? Not me. No? This is your popular, you'll never be left alone. That's true. You can, there's no space. There's no space. That's why I want to be famous. I have to. Because you have the uh, paparazzi always after you. You know, if you're a celebrity, you can't even go out to dinner someplace. Exactly. Because everybody knows you and they want autographs and pictures and selfies and all kinds of stuff. You can't, can't go to church because everybody treats you weird there. You can't go to a movie. You know, you pretty much just have to, you're a very lonely life. Okay. When you're a famous astronaut someday, then you'll understand. People will be calling you all the time. Chandler, Chandler, can I come over? I need some moon rocks. Can you get some moon rocks? <laughs> Look me up, baby. Come on. Yeah, so that's what the whole world tries to make you covet something. The problem is, when you covet, you usually end up getting in trouble. Okay, let's look at 1 Kings 21, 1 to 16. First what? 1 Kings. Is that in the Bible? It's in the Bible, yes. <laughs> Chapter 21, verses 1 to 16. First, I will give you a page number as soon as we have it on here. First Kings is in the Old Testament. It's on page 303. Ah, oh, I was almost there. Was that 299? Oh, that's 297. This is a great story. This is what happens when you really covet something. All right, I'm going to. I'll read the first part and then we'll take turns. 16? I don't. Are we in the Bible? Okay. We're in the Bible. We're at page 303. We're going to start at chapter 21, verse 1. Oh, okay, I see it now. Never mind. All right. It's called Naboth's Vineyard. Okay, I got it. Have you ever heard of anybody named Naboth before? No way. I think he's the only one. All right. Now, Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel beside the palace of King Ahab of Samaria. So the other, there's another major player here. That's the king. So he's got a vineyard right next door to King Ahab. And after this, Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a vegetable garden, because it is near my house. And I will give you a better vineyard for it. Or, if it seems good to you, I will give you its value in money. So he really wants this vineyard. But Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my fathers. And Ahab went to his house vexed and sullen. You know what it means to be vexed? No. It's like you're just, just really upset because you didn't get your own way. And sullen, he's all sad. He's like throwing a tantrum. Because of what Naboth, the Jesuit light, had said to him. For he had said, I will not give you the inheritance of my fathers. And he lay down on his bed and turned away his face and would eat no food. So Naboth said, basically said, you know, my dad gave this vineyard to me. I'm not going to sell it to you. You can't have it. So Ahab has a temper tantrum. He goes in his room, lays down. He won't eat, won't talk to anybody. He's just being a big baby. Okay, uh, Ava, start reading at verse 5. But 
The reason they called him Nabbath, the Jezreelite, they didn't have last names back then. So, you know, his name's Nabeth. Well, which Nabeth are they talking about? He lives in Jezreel. Oh, that Nabeth. Okay, that's how they told him before. So Jezebel says, what's the matter with you? Because he won't give me the vision. She says, aren't you the king? Just get up, have something to eat. I'll get you the vision. All right, Chandler, you start reading the next part. Verse 8. So she wrote. She, so she wrote letters to Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal. Here she sent letters to the elders and the leaders who lived within Nabat in, in his city. And she wrote in the letters for faith, be back and said Nabat at the head of people and said to work the strength opposite him and let him bring a charge against him, saying, You have cursed God and the king. And take out him the stone to death. And the men of the city, the elders, and leaders who live in the city, did as Jezebel had sent the word to them as it is written, was written in the letters that she has sent to them. They were faint, they fast, and sent David at the head of the people. And the two worthless men came in and sat opposite of them. The wordless men brought a charge against Nabbath in the presence of the people, saying, Nabbath, first God, and the king. So they stood him outside the city and stoned him to death with stones. Then they sent to the little saying, Nabbath has been stoned, he is dead. Okay, so you see how they, she planned it? She forges <coughs> letters from the king. She invites Nabbath to uh, like a, a party and they get these two guys to lie about him. Because back in the Old Testament, if you curse God, you get the death penalty. They throw big rocks at you until you're dead. That's what it means to stone somebody. So these guys, they, they all of a sudden, they say, hey, he cursed God. And so they all throw rocks at him and kill him. They got like that. He didn't curse God. They lied. But they got like that. Huh? Did God no, this is, this is really bad to do this. Ahab was not a good king. His wife was not a good queen. And uh, they, they got in a lot of trouble. No, so it's like, I invite all you guys to a, a party for Landon. And then I hire somebody to come in and say, Landon stole a car. And you say, he did what? You call the police and he's arrested and they take him away. I made the whole thing up, but Landon gets in trouble. It's really nasty. So they did it. And as soon as Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned and was dead, Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, and uh, it's yours. So she gets the vineyard for him by making up a story and getting him killed. All because he coveted. He really wanted that vineyard. So it ends up they're lying. They murder. And uh, they take his property. At least all that stuff. So, it was really bad. Um, if you wanted to cheat, have you ever heard those radio commercials about, um, they talk about uh, getting uh, home title insurance? Yeah. They're, they're advertised all over the place now. They say, people forge your name, and then they sign documents that said you sold the house to somebody, and then they start... Uh, borrowing money on the house and all that, and you get the bills because they stole your house right from under you. But how they do that? They forge the documents. I don't. It, they say it happens all the time. I don't know how often it really happens. But if you wanted to get your neighbor's house, how could you do that? Forge their name. They forge their name and they curse. 
Yeah, people are always trying to cheat people out of their stuff. Because they really want it. You know, the channel just says, hey, that's my stretchy ball. He said, no, it's not. I said, yeah, it is. I bought it at the dollar store. No, you took it from me. No, where's the receipt? You got a receipt? No. Also, you have no proof. And like Chandler, he forges a receipt for a sketchy ball, and he shows it to you, and then you have to give him the ball because he's got the receipt. Well, I, have, I got other things with it, and so everything should be on right. uh, I don't know. We might have to go back and ask the cashier. Chandler doesn't want to do squishy ball. I don't think. Yes, I do. Maybe I'll get another one and bring it. Get money for the Christmas party. Yeah. Make that money your gift. If it's I can go to the dollar store again. Was it actually a dollar? Was it a dollar twenty-five? I think it was a dollar twenty-five. I knew it. I knew it. Dollar twenty-five. All right. That's such a scam. It's not a dollar store. It's a dollar twenty-five store. Exactly. It does sound better than a dollar. All right. First. Timothy, chapter 6. Well, he's a, he, he's a lady, lady. And we're going to read 6 to 10. This is in the New Testament, way in the back. Got it. Verse 993. Got it. 993. 993? 992. 2 or 3? 3. three. Bonus point for Brandon. Let's go. Yeah. More way because she's not here. That's why she's not here. More ways. So what do you need? I'm only way because she's not here. That's Wait, why. Wait, do you think you can do, like, try to fit in the Bible and get that, like, race day? We can do that. Yeah, because... But you'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it's your lucky day. Oh, okay. We all have a little bit higher chance of winning. I would hope so. All right, you guys got this? Yes. yes. All right, Landon, you can read this one. It's only five verses, six to ten. It says, now there is great gain. Was I wrong? You got it? No, you're right. Chapter six, start at verse six. Verse six is in the... False teachers and truth. Oh, I see it now. I'm yeah, sorry. I was looking at the wrong so it's right hand side. I was looking at the big six, not the little one. Oh, okay. Um, now there is great gain in God Godliness with contentment. Content? Right. For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we will not content, but those who desire to be rich fall into Temptations into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. It is through this craving and some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many things. So that's, instead of being content, it's the desire to have more money. And it says, the love of money is the root of all evils. What does the love of money cause people to do? Lie. Scam. Scam, okay. Lie. Cheat. Power. Well, you're right. They uh, <coughs> take advantage of people. Yeah. Some people, they care so much about their career and money that they don't take care of their family. What else? If you, if you love money, what are some of the things you might do? Besides these, what else? You might risk a lot of stuff trying to get money. Okay, risk. Might sacrifice money over somewhere else. You what? Might sacrifice money over someone else. What do you mean by that? Like you would rather choose money over like. Oh, okay. Else. Like no friends, maybe. Yeah. Some people uh, they gamble. Yeah. And they like not just gamble, but they get addicted to gambling, and so like, they can't stop. They can't stop gambling and trying to win. Yeah, 
But usually, when you gamble, you usually lose. The house always makes money. So you might win some here and there, but very, very few people ever win a lot by gambling. You know, like what are the odds of winning the lottery? Uh, like like, 0.1111. Yeah, like one out of 100 million or something like that. One out of but how many lottery tickets do they sell? A lot. Yeah, a ton of them. Because people, they, they think if they have a lot of money, they'll be happy. And they end up being sad because they sacrifice family, friends, and other things that they could have done. Uh, because they'll do anything. And they even lose their faith. That's what the Bible passage says. But instead of trusting God, they trust their money. So what is the opposite of coveting? I guess we'll have to read Philippians 4, 11 and 13. 982. Yeah, on page 982. No. No. Well, let's look it up and find out. The opposite of coveting. Taking. Not. Yeah, just fast forward. Don't, don't covet, just take it, right? Yeah. No, stop it. Got it, Ava? Yes. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. Opposite of covet would be to be content. Well, let's talk about that. What does it mean to be content? Oh, what do you think? Oh, I think I know what it is. I okay, know. I think you do too. Oh, you're on homework. Yeah. Let's see what it's you said on your homework. It means um. But that's why it's hard to be content. But what yeah. is? What's it mean to be content? I googled it. Uh, no, it means that you're like, I don't know, like you're. I don't know how to describe it. Like you're. I can't not like in a bubble, but like. How about you're holding something back? How about satisfied? Yeah. Like you're satisfied with what you have. You're yeah. happy with what you have. Rather than you think having something else will make you happy. <coughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, what do you really need to have to survive? What's well, like the minimum that you need to have to survive? Water, food, and sanity. Your heart. Your heart. No, water, food, and sanity. Food, water, you said sanity? Yeah, because you're not, if you're, because you're insane, you lose a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, mental health, sanity, okay. You probably need shelter, right? Well, I'm sure there's people that can live without shelter. Like who? Like, what do you do in the wintertime? Homeless winter time? people. They, they have like tents and tarps and boxes, and they have something that they live in. Yeah. That's... But, but basically, they, it's not good to be homeless. That's just they need a place to live. It doesn't have to be a big house. It's just, you know, a small <laughs> place. So anything else you really need to live? God. Or Jesus. Okay, faith is good, but we're talking about physical stuff. Like oh. clothes. Yeah, clothes. You need some clothes. Shoes. Clothes and shoes. We'll put those together. How, how much clothing and shoes do you need to survive? One pair. One, one outfit? Yeah. Just wash it every day? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could if you wanted to. They say that you probably wear, of all the clothes that people have, they usually wear like 10 outfits almost all the time out of all the clothes they have. So if you have more than 10 outfits, That's me. you have way too many clothes. That's her. Yeah. But you probably have a lot of clothes you never wear, don't you? Yeah, I wear them like every now and then. But not very often. You have favorites, you all like, when you open the drawer, like say all the laundry's done, all your clothes are folded, everything's hung up and in the drawers, you always pick the same things usually. Because everybody has their favorites. Mm -hmm. Or shoes. You know, how many pairs of shoes does your mom own? A lot. Like 15. 
15? Heel boots, awesome. normal shoes, running probably shoes. Probably more than other shoes, more than 15. Yeah, she probably does. We'll have to ask her. Hopefully she's not on the live. Oh, she probably wants it right I now. I think I'll be at like two or three years. But you know, it's, you know different data yeah, watches. The different outfits, you gotta have different shoes and different colors to match, different things, you know, exercise shoes, running shoes. Shoes to dress up in, shoes for everyday mm -hmm. stuff, you know, there's lots of different stuff. But to be happy with what you have, that's really a challenge. <coughs> because the media wants you to be unhappy. They said, why do you think it's hard to be content? Because we are guilty and not consistent. And because of sin, hate, greed, etc. Those are good answers. What's um What's materialism? Oh, basically like hoarding, I think. Is like, what? Like you're hoarding something, or like keeping it, I think. Yeah, hoarding would certainly be the opposite of content. You just, you gotta have as much stuff as you possibly can. You know anybody that's a hoarder? Yeah. Yes. Who? I think there's a show for that. There is. Yeah. It's called Hoarders. It's very good. <laughs> These people. I mean, you can't even walk through their house because they save everything. They've got piles of newspapers and magazines and boxes and all kinds of stuff. Who do you know that's a hoarder? You? Yeah. You're a hoarder? No, no. Uncle Bill. <laughs> Uncle Bill's a hoarder? Okay. okay. He keeps everything? Everything. Newspapers, McDonald's cup. He thinks it's good. I don't know. McDonald's cups? Mm -hmm. You were showing photos through this apartment in there. Oh no, that's what's it look like? Okay. You can't walk through. Have you been there? No. no. You've only seen pictures. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But we can see it what's happening in the room that he's in right now. Because he's accumulating more stuff where he is. How many McDonald's cups does he have? I don't know. It's like a shelf. A he shelf? Wow. He found 20 receipts from before it was that. How many McDonald's cups do you have at home? Yeah, zero. You throw them out, right? Yeah, they're trash. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you know where materialism is when you're in love with stuff. So same thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I was right there. You know, your whole religion is about getting more stuff, having stuff. The most important thing to you is your possessions. That's that's what we call materialism. Uh, you're always buying stuff, just way too much. Can you be possessed by possessions? Yes. In what way? What's that mean? Possess? Possess. Like you're always on it or like doing something with it. Or like you need to have it on your like body. And I think everyone's playing 20 years of your strategy right now. Everything you have requires some kind of care. You know, if you have clothes, you gotta wash them, car. you gotta hang them up in a wet car, you gotta maintain it. And if you get a house, there's always something that needs fixing. There's always something you need to do. It's got to be cleaned. So if you have a lot of stuff, it takes over your life. It takes up all your time. Because you've got to take care of all that stuff. If you have very little, they don't take any time at all to take care of stuff. Like if you have a one-bedroom apartment, that's easy. You can get clean that in like half an hour. You're good to go. If you have a, a five-bedroom, four-bathroom house, you spend a whole day cleaning. Or you gotta spend all your time working to hire somebody to clean your house. Use all your money hiring and cleaning people. So materialism is it's kind of a religion. For some people, their possessions are the most important thing they own. <coughs> more important than their family, more important than their friends, more important than anything else. How could we keep from focusing on stuff too much? Um, How do you get away from materialism? Friends, family, oh, yeah. God. I don't know. I don't know how I got. I mean, they're not bad ideas. How can friends help you not be. Because you like to go to the park or something. You, you play football. football. Oh, okay. So, focus, that's good. Focus on experiences rather than things. What else? How else can you combat this materialism? 
see Amy's in love with her little squishy ball right now. Talk to God. Talk to God. Well, that's not bad. Gratitude. Give thanks for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have. So that's basically kind of what you're saying. Gratitude gets your mind off of what you don't have and what you do. <coughs> Giving thanks. What else? Just um, every once in a while, go through your stuff, get rid of everything you're not using. Oh, yeah. You probably. I do that all the time. Really? You're not too I much. hate stuff. Keep your eyes on. You know what you so mean by minimalism? No. No. It's kind of a movement where you live with as few possessions as possible. So, like the opposite. Yeah, so like you don't have. 12 sets of dishes at home, you only have four because that's all you need. You don't have 23 pairs of shoes, you have two. You got to choose to work in and choose to work out. You know. um, <coughs> because everybody, we, we got a lot of stuff that we don't use. You, know, you walk around your neighborhood and people's garage doors are open, is there usually a car in there? No, it's usually filled with boxes of stuff. And how many storage units are they building around town? A lot. Yeah. Guess what? People have way too much stuff. They're here. They're not here. They should replace them with go-karts. Now that would be a good idea. Yeah, that, that would make so much money if I realized that. Because they go like, they always build like apartments or storage units. But if you want to bring people to the city, you have to build stuff out like five. Like an arcade or another movie. Some place where you could have focus on experiences rather yeah. than stuff. Where do you like to go, Bill Carney? Oh, I'd be thinking about the beach and visiting. That's the a good beach. place, yeah. Isn't there one up in St. Augustine by the outlet malls? I think there's a place in back of them, a little up the road. That's what we should do. We should have class at the go kart track. Yeah. How you thought you were riding your go kart and you're service telling us that. <laughs> Why do you have that book? In it? That's worth studying. All right, any questions about coveting or contentment? No. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. All right, then on the back of that paper, the back. Yes. there's a back, and it's a review for the Ten Commandments. And so what you need to do is. That's right. Each of these, you have to write a number of the commandment that that applies to. Is it all ten? I believe all ten are in there. But nine and ten are kind of the same. So, so like, we can write down nine. But yes, and then it would still count, even if it was ten. Okay, then. Because they're, they're probably uh, very close. Are you going to agree to some of them? Yes, of course. And I'm going to win. You can start now. Just write a number. Can you use your book that out loud or no? What? Use your book? Can, can I have a book? Sure. I can use your book. I've got all the commandments and what they're about. Oh, so I'm going to put a big brown. What do you need? Where's the pen basket? You don't need a book. There's a pencil cup over there. But where's the pen basket? Wait, I do need a book. Catch. Somebody stole the pen basket. So we really don't know where it is right now. I actually do need a book. Cody. They were when I put them out. They're cold, yeah. There you go. Yeah, of course. Personally, I think the lemon lime would be the best, but yeah. that's up to you. First one, very easy. Don't focus on the jello, focus on the review. Okay, well, how many have done so far? Or yes, he landed four into it. Because I'm looking at my book because I don't. It's, it's on their board. Oh wait, wait, that was actually sweet. And I was on the board, but I just I just decided to fix my head that once. He talks so fast, I can't understand what you're saying. I don't know what he says that. I talk really fast. What's five? What does black mean? You know what the black commandment is? You shall not. Uh, Yes, you shall not murder. That's oh, correct. Okay. Very good. And that's how God protects life. 
Cheating on the test. Cheating on this test. That'd be hard to do. You see it. You wish I could see that far. Right. Yes, and you wish that his answer were right. Did you say my house that night? Wait, no. Wait, what? What? What's three? What is the third command? Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Very good. Two is do not misuse the name. of That's right. It's about the name of God. Okay. 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 I got this. You're on a roll. I would not cheat off of somebody else's test in this class because what do I want to cheat? This is easy. I know that one. It must be very mad right I'm now. I'm pretty sure Landon's gonna get the most right anyway. You probably You just jinxed me, thanks a lot. My what? You just jinxed me. Oh. Now I'm gonna lose. You know what? I'll make a guess. I don't see that possible. I think I got Now some of them, if you can if you have a different number and you can Defend your point of view, I'll give you credit for it. Oh, okay. So, because some of them, that you could apply to, we could have more than one here. What's reputation? What, what is, is reputation? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. You didn't watch the class online last week? <laughs> your mom said My you mom would. Didn't send it. How much time I have left? Wait, no, scratch that out. Wait. No, don't time it. When you're done, then time's up. No. Don't be <laughs> Reputation is what other people think of you. Well, yeah, I that. Like, That's what reputation is. You asked me what reputation was. <laughs> what, what is the eighth commandment? You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Oh, okay. Don't hurt his reputation. And don't blame your mom for not getting your work. Are there ten things on here? There's 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 more. Are <coughs> so yeah. can we use can we use things multiple times? Obviously, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that helps. You are you are correct. Okay. Okay. What's property? I mean, what's the second What's thing? property? <laughs> what's the you second? shall not <laughs> well, what's the second? You shall not You shall not This one, I, I did all of them besides one of them because it's harder. There's 19 questions. What is this one? I'm gonna, I'll tell you all of them right here. I didn't use all of them. Oh, you don't know the rest? Oh, well, you 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 gotta answer them. At least put something down. It's just numbers from one okay, to ten. Okay, okay. I don't think all of them are here. I think well, all of them are the Let me see. Kind of hard. When I went through it, I did not use number one. I Let's used go. Seven. I have not used number one. Let's I haven't used seven. seven. Yeah. You're not, you're I haven't used number one yet. I'm almost done. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not gonna jinx it. <laughs> so does that mean there's no number one? Uh, you could say that. <laughs> I just helped you. My eraser doesn't even work. Well, you just have a bad day. Just one? Yeah. No, what do you mean? Shoot her another pen or pencil. Oh, what do you mean we were seven? Oh my gosh. I used one. You did? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. I use eraser to dry. Well, if you, can, if you can defend your choice of that, then I'll give you credit for it. I don't even know what this one is, and this is not really the one I haven't used yet. Okay. So, I am done. No, you're not. You know, I'm going to guess. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How many do you have done, Chandler? I have all of them besides this one that I've just okay. done. I'm going to guess, you know, okay. now I'm done. 
And Ava, you're oh, just you giving up? <laughs> no, no, I'm not giving up. I'm just saying. I can't. Uh, six, I have seven, one, two, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, you need to finish because time's up. No. <coughs> No, I'm not Landon is done, and Chandler is it. done. Yeah, I'm lying. I definitely All right, not here we go. You are a person, but you need to, to up your game a little bit here. Okay. You got to see. I got this. Okay, number one. Here we go. I'm going to say that. Oh, boy, boy. Tell so me everyone that one one. a person in your class failed their test. What do you got? Number eight. Eight. I just wrote that down. This is smart. Okay. Do I grade myself? A pregnant teenage girl decides to get an abortion. Five would be correct. So you shall not murder. Okay? Got two rights. You think it's unfair because your friend has a much nicer house than you do. Nine. Number nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. Okay, those were the easy ones. Cheating on this test. Four. I don't know. Anybody got a different answer than four? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cheating is actually a form of stealing, so I would say that's number seven. Is that number seven? Yes. Gosh, what about nine? How is that? That's not even the content. Number nine is you should not come at your neighbor's house. And the question was cheating on this test. Oh, I think so. Yes, so you got that one. Okay. So that's how it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angry and yelling, GD. Number two. Number two, that's, that's right. right. Let's go. Fear love God so that we do not curse, swear. Use satanic arts, liar, deceit, wise. Deliberately disobeying your parents. Four. That was Ooh. easy. Number four. Viewing a pornographic website. Six. Six. Sleeping in on a Sunday morning rather than going to worship. Three. 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 Remember the Sabbath day but keep your home. Why did I say eight? Uh, wait, eight, wait, eight wait, it's your reputation reputation because if you don't go to church, you just all the time you just look it doesn't look good. That, that doesn't so Cause matter. no wait, shh, this is no. my argument. I'm making a mistake. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. So I'll ask the judges in a minute. If you sleep in and you don't go to worship and your purpose is sleeping in, that's uh, that's not a good look for you. But what if the judges have to say? Yeah, what if they're not for sleeping in, though? Or oh. if they accidentally slept in? Isn't it to make someone else First sleep First commandment is about worshiping God's word. So it's number three. Yeah. Alright. Now, yeah. Number read a Bible. 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 Read what about nine? What about nine? I'll take nine. Okay, dang it. See? See? I'll Most nine. of your sentences begin with the words, I want or I wish I had. Nine. Nine or ten. Very good. Okay, I got ten. And that's terribly similar. Make up a story to get someone in trouble. Eight. eight. That's definitely eight. Let's go. Please go. <laughs> Being envious of the new clothes someone is Nine. Wearing. Nine or ten. Okay. Depending on the horoscopes in the newspaper, plan your day. One. Huh? I thought it was five. I one for that, but you said there's no one. So it's either two or three. Yeah, there's no one. Five, I thought. It's two. Exactly. Aww. I knew it. Satanic arts. Two or three. That's the horoscopes. Oh. Remember? Oh, I forgot those one. I forgot those one great satanic arts. It's five. Using illegal drugs. Five. Five? You're harming your life. There could be another answer. What could it be? Four? Right. Because it be number four. Because it's illegal. Right. A person calls himself a Christian but doesn't live the way you expect a Christian. This one I guess on. Three? No. No, dang it. Why would I say nine? I would need to read. I don't know. What about ten? Eight? That would be two. Two. Lying or deceiving by God's name. I'm so I'm so welcome to my honey. I'm not scared. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sexting. Send the naked picture. Six. Eight. Number six. No. <laughs> let me let me make my my my. Opinion. Okay, make a case. Make a case. Because it's a bad thing, and if you're known for doing that, it's not a good look. Please say yes. The way the way his arm is also like it's a bad thing. You agree with me? A little bit. Nine point one percent. You could. Okay, I'll give you credit for that. You're false. No. Yes. 
I'm still one question behind. Your phone said it's at 10%. Um, pass the bill. Yep. It's at 10%. Your phone calls the bill. Well, or a notification went up. 20%. Okay. There's nothing I can do about it. When it dies, it dies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Jeff, can you give one? I'm not no, I shall not. Lying to your parents. Four. Oh, four. Oh, four. And not listening to pastor teaching confirmation. Three. Two. Four. Two. That would be four. I knew it. No, Chandler, you're puking by a point. You got all of them right. Uh, now, I would take three for the last one, because it is, we teach, you teach God's word. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he said he said down by two. <laughs> So, one, two. Can you follow yeah, but eight? before we started, you said you had 13 blanks. So no, that means you only got one, six two. correct. No, no, no. I wrote down some of them before you said the 13, 14, 15, 16. I put question marks by the word. I only got three wrong. So, so you got 16. What did you get, Landon? 14. Okay. I wrote a question mark. And Ava says she got 19. I know, I think she wrote them after you said it. No, I, I got it. I got one, two. I'm guessing you went a lot. You got at least half of them empty when we started. Eleven. That's what I saw. 12, 13, 14. Oh yeah. Yeah, fourteen or thirteen. Then why those all mark? Hmm. Question mark. <laughs> you did good, but I think good. Chandler wins that contest. Oh. I think it's because well, it's not she fair, did. No, when? you didn't finish because you spent your time eating Jello rather than answering no, the question. I was doing both. You didn't spend your time. Well, you had the Jello in this hand and the spoon in this hand. Jello. So when, where were you holding the pencil doing the I was, test? I was doing this. I don't need to hold the Jello. I'm not buying it. Well, you could I get extra credit, so I got, I got, I got this. Do I get extra credit for what? I got 15. I got 15 now. I did not bring the prizes with me, but I owe Chandler a prize. Yay! No, you did not get even close. But it, it's not fair to buy. You finished in third place. So if you finish in third place, you should give me a prize. No. That's the way it should work. Everybody agree? No. <laughs> All in favor? Okay. No. I good. The class has voted. That's I already I got my gift for the thing. I have not gotten mine yet. I need to get I something. I got mine. And it's very funny, so everyone should laugh. Mine's better. Okay. Well. The, uh, the homework page I gave you for next time is green because we're starting the Apostles' Creed, so all the papers are going to be green. Green? We don't have to train it next week. We don't have to train no, there's no homework due next week. So the homework will be due when we come back in January for class. We have three Wait, it's not due next week? No. no. We have Why does that make sense? We have three weeks. How does that make Four sense? Weeks. Because okay. next week, we're not. We're just going to review the Ten Commandments, and we're going to eat tacos. And have our fun. Tacos? And do yes. Yes. You're bringing yeah, drinks, yeah, yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah. I sent you an email. Sugar. What? I need to drink. Wait, what do people want to drink? What do you want to drink? Coke. Coke. Water? Want to strike cranberry? No, I heard those things are bad. Well, no, bring a variety of sauces. You can't taste anything. You can't talk. I can't taste anything well, still. I like anything still. So. You can't true. taste anything still? No. Everything tastes the same to you. Yeah. Everything water. tastes great. Tastes like water. Okay. Yeah. Tastes like water. My senses got weird, but water. I don't think I ever lost them completely. My favorite flavor land is that's water. Like, <laughs> my taste was weird and I couldn't stop. I've been trying to smell your shit too. Like when you got the kid, it starts to get the whole our time and then so it'll come still back. hasn't come back yet. The day that you get this Mom said about stock, January it should come back. Okay. Okay. That'll be like five months. The day he gets his taste box, the day he's gonna start like eating his food slowly to like to, to, to enjoy really the flavor. Yeah, he's like, like he's like, I'm never losing my flavor ever again. And when did you have COVID? That was like two months ago. Wasn't October. It? Yeah. I got it. Remember okay. Charles? October 4th, because that's when I missed that. It's only been two months. You did have a while ago, yes. We've got a little bit of extra time.
We can do books in the Bible. Oh, I want to win. We can do no, right, so oh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say anything. This is the Bible. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to change it. What? I saw it. I saw it. So I wrote the Bible later. Can't write it. No, I did it. Right. All I did was talk, I guess. Wrote these in the order of how we finish. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, my <laughs> God. Upset's gonna happen. All right. All right. Yay. We're gonna start with really easy ones. So okay, Genesis. No, Revelation. Where's that? That's in the very back. Oh no, I just went to the last Peter. Thing. Here. Got it. Camera got it. The very last book in the Bible. I went to the very last one also. Now, Genesis. Here. No, you're done. Why can't you say it? Because my reflexes suck. I can't put my hand up. You're so, no, what you do is... You All you have to say is, got it. No, just scream, and if got it, not, really loud. Not on it, do we, like, then you lose the point. If you don't have it, you've got it. Well, that's why I don't want to say it. Like, well, then you're not going to get any points. No, just scream it so loud okay. that he can't hear it anymore. So find it, and then say, got it. Okay, you can Songs. Okay, okay. Oh, here's time. There's no rush. Got it! Alright. No! That wasn't kind of a squeaky guy. I didn't even see it. Psalms is in the middle of the Bible. Yeah. yeah I knew it was like right there. I was like, where? Matthew. 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 Got it! 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 Got all right, um, Romans. Romans, 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 Romans. We're always reading that. Oh, that's very in the front. Oops. Oh, they for the I lied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very bad. He's lying. That was an interesting strategy. Got it. Tell them where And I not. still, I can't even see. I can't even, like, unless like you wear your glasses, you can't see it. Okay, I'm ready. That's you like can't awesome. taste and you can't see. You're down to three senses. <laughs> <laughs> Touch. Oh, you can't smell either, right? <laughs> no. All you've got is touch and and, hear. and you're hearing. Yeah, I can hear. He needs a braille book. <laughs> this 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 read as he scrolls through the pages. That's okay, here we go. Um, Exodus. Oh, Exodus. That, is, that one's in the back. What's that? You're lying. Got it. I can't find it. It's up front. I can't find oh, it. Oh, I wasn't even trying to lie. Oh, there it is. All right, now we do Proverbs. 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 Oh, no, it's past it. No, where, where, where? Oh, no. 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 Oh, I was... oh no. I don't even see. Curse about our fingers. <laughs> There's another page. I'm yes. I was looking at this page the whole entire time. Oops. See, that one, these are... Oops. Let it be this is uh, anymore. in order, and the next page is alphabetical. That's why Wait, I'm losing. Wait, the order of who you thought was going to win. That's why I'm losing. We're no. not done yet. The no. game is not over. Yeah, we're not over. Right. Right. Mark. Andrews. Hey. Where's Mark at? Oh, in the back of the book, I see you winning. Mark! Dang it. I was looking at the page, and I thought I was going to turn into a different like, chapter. I was like, no, wait, this up. Now with the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. It's a big word, so it has to be in the back. No. I usually point to where it's got it. I just that one I, I just gotta like use my eyes. I can see, I just don't know where it's at. Isaiah. Isaiah. Are right, you guys just got it? You guys are just flipping through it? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be flipping and then find like you like kind of where these are. They're in order on the wall. So like one page that's Genesis, the yeah. beginning, and that's where we're going to start doing that. that. This is Old Testament, and that's New Testament, even though you can't see it. It's not like I can't find it. So it's Old like Testament is the first two thirds. Let's go. The New Testament is the last one third of the book. Okay. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Job. What? Jude? Job. Oh, got it. I can't. Okay. Find okay. <laughs> Alright. This isn't good. Um. Axe. A C T S. Axe. 
Behind you, Sharon. It's in the front. No! 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 Dude. I just said that like a while ago. It's Dude. Like, it's like, oh, I just said a long ago. Did you? Got it! No! Whoa, nice. No, I saw that a while ago. Landon was hustling it. Okay, comeback time. Let's go. Let's All go. Right, here we go. Let's go. Um, Jeremiah. <gasps> no, you passed it as I put it the book. No, you're joking. Got it! You're joking. You're joking. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do Luke. I just saw Luke. There you go. Luke. Is Luke faster than I think so. Luke, no! See what I mean? Oh, this is a good idea, wait. Yeah, Alright, um, Judges. Landis said he's gonna cheat. Watch out. Bro. How can you cheat at this game? I don't know. You just said he said. No, he passed it! Got, got it! Oh, he's right there. You're lucky. All you gotta do is flip the pages like this and hit your thumb. He's cheating. Who's cheating me? This, this is, is not judges. This is allowed. This is judges right here. Numbers, and we did Deuteronomy. 
That's not pronounced. We've done. I know we've done Joshua and Judges. Amber. Ruth. Yes. We've never done any of the like. So we'll do Isaiah. No. Oh no. Isaiah's a big book. That's easy to find. Got it. I. Yeah, you tried to... Hey, he's seven, though. I know, I did, but I took five points off. What a shame. Oh, that means 
Just tell me how many leaves. Oh, look at this. Wow, it's how you finish, not how you start. I don't think so. No, you're not. You lost five points. Oh, I'm definitely taking my time. All right. <coughs> okay, don't make Where's him sick. Ow. We're all gonna get sick, sick now. Um, you can't use my voice too much. Right. The reason yet. Um, but the pressure's off. Yeah, like, pressure oh, here we go. Song of Solomon. Oh, this is the one thing that you guys tricked me. Or it could be Song of Solomon. I think it's. Got it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. five points of question, that's right. Sure. All right. Second Corinthians. Oh. If I get, no, that's Chronicles. I'm yeah, not being tricked again. again. I'm not being tricked again. I'm not falling for that. Got it. Stop, and stop, five. stop. Yes. I was right there and I looked over and I am at the Chronicles again. Yeah. I can't find it. No. Um, don't hurt yourself. Third John. Three John. Got it! That's the last one. Oh, what a shame. So, Ava's yeah. first. Yeah! Ha ha! Ha ha! ha. Big yeah. out for you. Yeah. Wow, yeah. we're gonna bribe you. That's not very nice. You should have bribed, Landon. That's kind of being weird. You guys did great. I, I will do the closing prayer and then we're out of here, guys. I did fantastic. You guys did excellent. Do I get a prize next time? Yes. Can I get a prize next time? Everybody gets a prize next time except for Izzy. Because she wasn't here. Wait, everybody gets a prize? Yeah. I won That's my thing. Fair. He won. Exactly. You won mine and you finished second twice. Boom. Yeah. Boom. But now we're going to pray. We're good. <coughs> Heavenly Father, you are good and gracious. And we are sorry for not helping people as much as we should, sometimes for being too selfish. Thank you for all your blessings and for helping Chandler get better and help him continue to recover. And bless Uncle Bill, help him to get settled down, everything he needs to. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Get out of here.